BTEC reveals a brand new 6x2 Pro dual band DMR HT. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I've got one! Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 818-217-0380. That's 818-217-0380. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in Ham Radio. Guess what? B-Tech has a brand new 6x2 Pro dual-band DMR HT for the amateur radio market. And they were kind enough to send me one so that we could check that out prior to, or just right about the time it started shipping. It's at, now available on Amazon right now for $299. So it's a little bit cheaper than the Anytone. It's very similar to the Anytone. And I want to show you guys exactly what it looks like and what it can do in this video. I was given a list of features that were updated that you can compare to the old version. So going through, it looks like there's about six updates that have happened so far. And the very bottom one down here says, there are more plans for the future development on the 6x2 and it is not stopping. We'll be adding items to that model also. So it's actually five features here. Analog and digital APRS transmit, receive, stored, and receive packet download to a PC in a development. On-screen display of distance and heading of receive station analog APRS. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure what the download to a PC part is. Something for a future video. GPS roaming, which includes analog channels. Roaming is based on a fixed point and distance from that point outside the radius. Roam can set to a find an active repeater. Okay. Full modification of display text fonts. Color for each of them. So you can change all the colors on the display if you want to. Analog and digital SMS sending. Analog SMS. That's interesting. I wonder if that just works between two 6x2 Pro radios. That might be something for a future video as well. For commercial users, full AES-256 encryption with copy-paste of keys from one code plug to another. Encryption is not optional on the U.S. ham bands. So we're going to take a look at this radio today because guess what? I've got it here in my hand. All right, so we've got a nifty manual, 6x2 Pro. Quite a, quite a full manual there. It's a, kind of a thick manual, 39, 40 pages, 45 pages in the manual right there. Okay, good deal. Uh, programming cable. This looks like a standard Anytone programming cable. It's got the Kenwood K connector on this end, and it's got the uh, standard USB-A connector on this end with no chip in the head. So a regular K cable connector will work with that radio Similar to uh, similar to the Anytone as well. I, I I don't know if they sent me this or if it's included with it. So we'll have to look on the website to see. Push to talk, Bluetooth push to talk button. That's kind of cool. Another type of USB cable there. Charging cradle. Earpiece. Okay. I suspect that they just threw a bunch of stuff in the box of accessories that doesn't actually come with the radio because they wanted me to review it. But... Um, I don't I don't know if, I don't know if that's true or not. So let's break this out. 3100 milliamp hour battery. The QB44HL 3100 milliamp hours. That's kind of cool. So there's that. Battery attaches to the uh to the or I'm sorry, the belt clip attaches to the battery. So if you have multiple batteries, you will need a second belt clip, which is which is okay, I guess. I prefer it the other way, but that's all right. Not a, not a big deal. And the removing of the screen cover. Boom. This is kind of the standard looking antenna with the the orange uh, top to it with that's angled. So I always kind of like those antennas. I thought they looked really good. Turn that on. GMT. There we go. Minus, uh, minus six is what I'm going to choose because that's where I am. There we go. All right. So, we've got pretty standard stuff here. Zone 1 with the frequency. Zone 1 with the frequency. 
so I can set so this P2 button by default changes from VFO to what I assume is memory it says VFO a there 435.125 that it goes to zone 1 with 148.875 that's not even the handband P P1 switches from top and bottom these keys are programmable so you can do that VFO there and let's just set okay contact list contact one edit edit ID <laughs> contact one ID is one two three four five six seven eight all right so let's set three one four eight Texas statewide edit name I'm just gonna put TX confirm don't need any of this other stuff. Save. Contact saving. Saved. Okay. So we're gonna program a we're gonna program a new channel in this all from the front panel. Okay. And now I'm gonna do 4405125, which is the frequency of my repeater. And I'm gonna go to settings. Channel set. New channel, new channel name. Let's just put T. Uh, new channel number. I don't care. Um, two. Name. TXSW. Confirm. Channel exists. Replace. Yes. Okay. Channel type is digital. Transmit power, let's just put it on high, that's fine. Bandwidth is always going to be narrow. Receive frequency is, uh, yep, 440.5125. Transmit frequency is 445.5125. Zero, confirm. Good. Uh, talk around is off. Name, Texas statewide, that's fine. Transmit allow, I just put it on always, it's, it's on always. Prohibit is off. Radio ID, my radio ID. Option, edit ID. Edit ID, come on. 3148141, my ID, good. Edit name. We put my call sign here. There we go, KC5HWB. Select radio ID, radio ID selected, save, select, you can have different IDs in here if you want to give the wife to a friend, give the radio to your wife, a friend, son, kid, whatever, color code is 9 for my repeater, time slot is 2, Digital encryption is off. That's good. Encrypt type. Yeah. Nope. 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 DMR mode is repeater. Okay, now, somebody talking over there, but the, not on my talk group. So, I can key it up right there. Comes up green at the top there. That's my repeater. KC5 HWB testing. The new uh, BTEC 6x2 Pro radio on Texas statewide. Is anyone monitoring right now? So I, I'm going to guess you guys are hearing a buzzing in the microphone right now because DMR does that to the microphone. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. And no one is monitoring. No one is monitoring. Our Texas statewide group is pretty much limited to Texas. So it's not a worldwide talk group, and uh, and I hear activity on it just about every day. But it's not, it's not one of these. It's not like TAC three hundred and ten or thirty one hundred where you're just like twenty three hours a day just chit chat and chatter and a bunch of radio checks and that kind of thing. So sometimes people are on it, sometimes not. I wish there was more activity on it. I am kind of guilty myself of not having that much activity on it, but that's something I can remedy on my side. So that is the new B Tech six by two. It's um. It's a great looking radio. Looks just like the Anytone. It's made by Anytone, of course, just like the original original 6x2. This is a 6x2 Pro. It does come with a bigger battery. 
So I'm looking forward to uh, testing that out. It's got the green button on top, the way the 878 UV2 Plus does. And it's about $15 cheaper than the UV2 Plus. So check the Amazon link in the description below. That is an affiliate link, and I do earn a small commission from that should you choose to buy that from there. Let me know what you like, what you would like to see about this radio. I'm going to work on a code plug. I kind of doubt N0GSG supports this brand new radio yet uh, they did support the last btec 6x2 so after a little bit of time i assume they will add this one to the mix i have a code plug that i share with everybody and i can i should be able to reconfigure that code plug from the anytone to the btec with the n0 gsg software once that software supports this radio so maybe i'll kind of tinker with that in the meantime and um see if i can get a fairly decent code plug going for this radio and in fact the the cps i could i would probably do an export and import from the cps maybe i'll try it that way uh, let me know what you'd like to see about this radio let me know if you have any questions about it uh, put a comment below 73